John 20 begins. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark outside, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and she went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and, he, and she said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping in to look, he, John, saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter came, following him, he went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there, and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus' head, folded up and in place by itself. The other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. They did not understand the scripture, but they did now, that he must rise from the dead. The disciples went back to their homes, but that was not the end. That the scripture continues, but Mary. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped in to look inside the tomb. She saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. And having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not recognize that it was Jesus. He said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Why, who are you seeking? Supposing that he was the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will go and take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned and she answered, Rabbi. Then Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your God. And she did exactly as she was told. This is the account of the first Easter on the first day of the week, Sunday. It was an early morning. She went to visit the tomb of the man who had healed her, delivered her, and loved her. There was a foot race between John and Peter. John was faster, it's in scripture, but Peter went in first. They looked around, they saw the linen cloths that had been on Jesus, and they returned home. But Mary Magdalene stayed. She began to weep in her grief. She looked in again, and this time, she saw two angels who asked her why she was weeping. Before she could answer, she saw what she believed to be a gardener and begged him, please tell me where you have moved him. In an instant, he spoke, Mary. And in that same instant, she recognized that voice, Rabbi. Obviously, she went to grab him. He was close enough to touch him. But instead, Jesus told her not to touch her because he still had a mission in front of him. Go to my brothers. Tell them I am ascending to the Father. Tell them I'm alive. And Mary did exactly as he said, announcing, I have seen the Lord. Mary had a history with Jesus. Scripture records she was delivered of seven demons. She devoted herself to Jesus. She was a witness to his love and his life and his ministry, his crucifixion, and now his resurrection. She was the first one at the empty tomb. She was the one the angels appeared to and spoke to. She came to bring spices for his body and ended up encountering the risen Christ. He was close enough that she could have touched him. And Jesus loved her too. And as much as he loved her, appeared to her, spoke to her, his eyes were still set like flint. Mary, go and tell them. And I believe that this is what he is still saying today. I believe he is with me and with you. You too have encountered the living Christ. I invite us to pause and remember our Lord and all he has been and all that he is and all that he will be forever and go and tell them. This is Easter. The tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. Go and tell the littlest to the biggest, those that are near and those that are far, so that they too can bear witness to this Savior that we pursue and love and obey. Be His witnesses, FMC. 
That is Easter. Easter.